yeah good morning class today we're going to start a new lesson lesson number two introduction to dbms so uh, introduction to dbms so in this uh, lesson uh, we'll covered uh, database database management system advantages of dbms types of database components of rdbms relationship okay class so in this chapter we'll cover these topics database database management system advantage of dbms types of dbm and types of database components of rdbms and relationship okay so let's we start as uh, the first topic is a, a database okay so it's a uh, uh, talk about a database so uh, uh, database is an integral part of our daily life okay everyone like uh, to maintain his or personal uh, address diaries and information okay so we need to maintain a database so in the simple form we can say uh it is an organized collection of information that can easily be accessed managed and updated so if we are using a database so in a database uh, we can arrange our all the information and if we want to access so we easily we can access okay so uh, in a database we uh uh, do some operations like uh, adding any records and information in the database we can do updating and type of information update if you want to update we can do sorting also we can arrange the data in a sorting order ascending descending format editing part okay deleting etc they all are the part of the database so all the uh, types of operation we can perform on the database and if we talk about the uh, database package so there are several uh, example for you uh, like a telephone diary a dictionary okay a list of students uh, and in their details and customer details in a bank okay and uh, it's a simple example for you as a database so all <coughs> these are related to students information so we can uh, store this types of information in a database next topic is a database management system and if we talk about a database management system so i'm going to tell you about uh, with the help of an example and uh, this example related to the school so every year if we talk about uh, a database so every year uh, the cbsc and icc state boards results are declared in the month of may and june so after completing the exam we we wait our result board exam so at the last of the may uh, month of may and june uh, on the examination portal uh, side uh, give uh, uh, portal uh, we simply provide a uh, roll number and after that we can see the all the details like a name father name and all the details of the marks in the different different subjects and percentage and at last we see the result also as division section so how did how is this all the possible without any mistakes right so in that format we see the all information so okay so how does a computer manage to remember such so much data and display it in the correct format okay so in that case we use a database so if we talk about a database so a database is a collection of programs that enables one or more users to create manage and retrieve information from a database and it act as an interface between the user and the application program okay so this is a, a definition of a database and uh, there are some application program like a uh, railway reservation okay 
and uh, student management system also so in that case we can manage all the information from database some popular database programs are like uh, ms access we use ms access to create a database oracle base mysql ms excel uh, these are the application software and uh, uh, which is used to create a database okay